Okay. The full current up to date Arnold Classic 2020 USA list. I'm going to do my predictions in reverse order from 15th to 1st based on this current list. Those are the competitors. That's not the order. And here we go. I have Morgan, who's super tall, in 15th. We have Johnny Jackson, who's coming back. I'm putting him in 14th. Crazy upper body, just lower bodies. Not where it needs to be. You got Max Charles. I put him in 14th. I just haven't liked the way he's looked lately. We'll flip over and do the back shots of everybody as well. And Morgan is even taller than this in person. He's gigantic and he won the Arnold Classic Amateurs last year at the US Arnold Classic. And Johnny Jackson's back is on another level, but his legs aren't there. And Max is sort of the most balanced guy here, but we'll see what he looks like. He hasn't been looking amazing lately. We got Victor and Josh. I had Victor under Josh um, in the leg in the leg area. Josh kills him. We'll see how Josh actually does coming up here into the Arnolds with that whole brain tumor, but. Structurally, Victor kills him, but I just think Victor's also going to the end of his career here. That's kind of this is my toss-up one between these two, because back shot Victor just destroys him, and so I'm kind of flip-flop with with them. But they'll, they'll be at the bottom end. I'm looking at like the 12, 11 end. But Josh's, this is not one of Josh's better looks. Tampa look killed this. I think Victor looks okay here. Okay, so Akeem and Steve. They've been placing Steve really high lately. I don't really get it. But I'll have him just edging out Akeem just because Akeem from the back just is never super hard. But Akeem wins his front double in my opinion. He's just... Those lats are just shooting out, his arms are bigger. His leg separation is actually really good for Akeem here at the Olympia. Back double. He looks pretty good here, but I would actually give this slightly to Steve. But slightly. Akeem comes a couple percent harder and he just blows him out of the water, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, they play Steve really high. And even Akeem's waist is super small here compared to Steve's. And his traps are... Well, both the traps are amazing. Okay, I actually put Sergio up pretty high. Not beating Dexter. I think Dexter's still going to beat him. Dexter's biceps in this shot are amazing. And Dexter is just the legend of all legends anyways. Uh, but I think Sergio's going to look a lot different than this. He's going to come come in like really really good this year. He's got those crazy low hanging quads which I love. The back double. Sergio's back hopefully has come up. The lower back super shallow there. And Dexter just looks amazing for not just his age, he just looks, looks amazing. So I think Dexter will hold off Sergio just because of this really this back shot. Dexter's like nice density and hardness of winning this. Now we're gonna go into the sixth and fifth position. Lionel Bayek, he lets me down every year. Um, I have Cedric just beating him. I think Cedric lets me down almost every show because he never comes in crazy peel but his structure is just incredible but I think Lionel has one of the best structures as well I think he looks like a bigger flex wheeler that just doesn't come in shape ever 
uh, from the back. Like Lionel's arms are just incredible here, but he's so soft in the lower glutes, hands don't even, they're like 12 weeks out. His arms are amazing. Cedric looks really good here. I just think Lionel could just show up and kill everybody if he really wanted to. But I don't see it happening. I think I placed him too high, like I always do every year in my predictions that he's in any show because I think he's just so gifted. Okay, this is third and fourth. I actually had Nathan beating Patrick, who I love Patrick. Actually, I like Nathan too, but Patrick's physique's amazing. I think Nathan's just got great quads. His elongated torso looks really weird here. Biceps are great. Patrick just looks super complete balance. It's just not as big as Nathan, which they always go for big and puffy right now, so that's just winning shows. The back W's here, the density of Nathan. His traps are huge, his delts are huge, his arms, weird kind of pose. Patrick needs to almost flare his quads out a little more like Nathan, and I think Patrick will look amazing. He's definitely one of my favorite looks out there. So hopefully he gets into that top five. It would be crazy if he didn't, especially at an Arnold show. And now we're going to go to the final two. It's William and Rami. And I went through a lot of shots for these two just to do a comparison. William looks like he wins in this front double to me. Rami kind of looks a little messy, but Rami can look really good in this shot. But William's biceps look great. Uh, this is not the best Rami. So I did put Rami beating William. If Rami comes in proper, this will probably be the last time I'll put Rami in a first place spot if he lets me down again. Back double if Rami comes in shape, you could see that he would destroy William just because it's a bodybuilding show and he's just bigger, wider, more muscle. And William looks great here. William's sheen is just incredible. And Whoever did him, did him good, because he looks proper. But, compared to Rami, it's just the size difference would be crazy. Front lat spread, even this off Rami, I would give him the front lat spread, of course. He just looks insane. He's probably one of the best front lat spreads uh, in the IPV right now. William can never pull this shot off because his body structure is not there. He's not wide enough. His arms are just gigantic, which cover his lats. But his sheen looks amazing. And going to the rear lat spread. And Rami would kill William in this shot as well if he was in shape. And he didn't roll forward. He's kind of doing that roll forward cape looking thing. Uh, if he does the way Phil hits it, it would be really good. Um, and William's great all around. These are all great shots for William. He's never out of shape, so that's a scary part of making Rami placing over him at this uh, U.S. Arnold Classic. Side chest. I don't like how William's pec looks in this. Obviously, he's harder. Rami's side leg, I like more. I like when you get that crazy detail on the side leg. Rami's just bigger, his chest is bigger. Uh, that's a really hard shot. I would take Rami's because I like how big his chest is. So, side tricep, this is where I like how William hits it. He needs to hit it for his body like this. And his arm overall looks amazing here. Well, Rami's honestly almost too big to put his arms on his back to do this proper tricep pose, which I prefer, but it's awkward looking because he's just gigantic. And it's suffering because of that. Even William's calf looks good there. Most muscular. Even a soft Randy wins this one. He's too big, too wide. Just insane, insane. And this is a not hard version of Rami. This is a soft version in my opinion. I'm going to show you the final pictures. If Rami comes in even a little bit like this, this is the 2013 New York Pro, where in my opinion is his best look ever. 
They obviously downsized a bit. Conditions could be a little harder in the front quads. I think you're just not hitting them hard enough, but abs are deep. I think this shape here with a little more polish could take out everybody quite easily. But we will see and I'll be in the audience. I got tickets and I'm going with a bunch of meathead crews. So it will be damn good. And thanks for watching.